What alpha males look for in a woman that most women don't possess. There will be no sex on this. Not just, you know, freaky sex whenever I want it. That won't be on here. Cooking won't be on here. Cleaning won't be on here. Because I don't care if you cook. I don't care if you clean. I don't care if you do none of that. That stuff is at the bottom of the list. It didn't even make the top 10. Those things, they don't make the top 10. So whatever your mama told you about being able to cook and clean for a man and take care of a man by cooking and cleaning, that's not how you take care of alpha male. That may be how you take care of the regular dude. All right, let's get into this thing, man. The first thing we want, let's go ahead and kill the elephant in the room. Shut up itness. We need shut up itness. It's not even that alpha males want shut up itness. We need shut up itness. If the average woman knew how much time the alpha male spends inside his head, turning his ideas into reality, turning his thoughts into reality, turning his visions into reality, turning his dreams into reality, she'd understand that he needs quiet. He needs quiet. If an alpha male needs a woman input, he'll ask for it. You'll be surprised, man, how many women you will meet who feel like every time you say something, it's time for them to give an opinion. If I don't ask for your opinion, I don't want your opinion. I know, well, I should be able to, say, I should be able to talk if I want to. You can, but talk to somebody else. You're not going to be able to talk to me whenever you get ready. If we're having a conversation, that's something totally different. But if I'm talking to you, when I'm talking to you as a teachable moment for me, a learnable moment for you, you need to be learning. The reason why women can't satisfy men today, alpha males anyway, is because they don't listen. An alpha male gives you everything you need to know how to please him, but you too busy trying to respond to what he's saying instead of absorbing the information. I need a woman who's an absorber. I need, you know what, talk with your ears. I need you to listen with your ears and talk with your ears. Let your ears do everything. Don't move your mouth. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, I need shut up in this. You got to have something within you that tells you that as a woman, I am in no position to be trying to have an equal 50-50 conversation with this man like I'm on his level because you're not on my level and we're never going to discuss the things that you enjoy. You know what I'm saying? We're never going to talk about hair. We're never going to talk about clothes. We're never going to talk about gossip. We're never going to talk about any of that. We're, not, we're never going to talk about some TV show. We're never going to talk about any of these things. We're not going to talk about anything that you want to talk about, which is not. So every time I'm talking to you, I'm going to give you some information to navigate the game of life. And you don't have any of that to give me. You don't have any of that to give yourself. Now, am I telling you you should shut up and listen to every man? No, I'm telling you, but an alpha male, you're going to have to show some shut up in this. That's the only way. It's not going to work any other way. Am I telling you you can't ever talk? No. But when I'm talking, you listen. That's what shut up in it is. When I'm talking, you listen. That's it. I'm not going to talk to you bad. I'm not going to cuss you out. I'm not going to yell at you. I'm not going to cuss at you. I'm not going to do any of those things. I mean, if you if you earn that, you're going to get it. But under normal circumstances, I'm going to talk to you in a normal tone. I'm, I'm going to talk to you in a tone that you're going to feel safe. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm not going to be saying that crazy to you, you know, telling you to, you know, I'm not, I, I'm not now like, I'm not, not like a wild beta male that need to exert his power over a woman by dogging her out. That's not alpha. So when I'm talking, I need your ears to be working. You know, flap your ears and, and peep what I'm spilling to you. Second thing, obedience. I'm not going to tell you anything to hurt you. If I tell you to do something, it's going to benefit me and you. I don't want to hear no, why don't you, well, why don't, well, I don't think you have, I ain't asked you what you think. I said, hey, do this, shout it. And I ain't going to be throwing no please on there and all that. You want manners, find one of them beta male that be coming in and coming and talking about, well, saying good morning is just good manners. And Dr. B.O.A., you're just a mean guy. You don't even want a woman to tell you good morning, Dr. B.O.A. It's just about having manners. Your mama didn't teach you manners? No, my mama didn't teach me nothing. Everything I learned, I learned from men, not from my mom. That's your problem. You learn too much from your mama. So that obedience, man, is a is, that's really the one hiccup that all of them are going to have. You know what I'm saying? 
Because you got to think about this. Shut up and this and obedience go hand in hand. But you might be able to find a decent shut up in this. But that obedience, they just feel like it makes them less of a woman to obey their man. In actuality, it makes them more of a woman to obey their man. And it makes you less of a woman to disobey your man. How are you going to go against what I'm telling you unless I'm telling you to do something that's going to hurt you? I shouldn't get no. Why? I shouldn't get no questions. Because one thing you got to understand, I'm going to pay the cost to be the boss. And we'll get into that further because there's only a certain a, a certain kind of woman you can't pay the cost to be the boss with. As an alpha male, there are certain women you have to avoid. So you have to have obedience and shut up in this. The, listen, you can have every other thing on this list. But if you don't have obedience and shut up in this, the rest of these things don't matter. Shut, obedience and shut up in this, that's the cake. And you want ice cream and you want all of these other things, then the rest of these things are the ice cream. But we don't need no ice cream without cake. We just need the cake. Bring the cake and we'll figure out the ice cream part. This is one of those things, man, that, you know, as men, we got to have this a sweet disposition. Now, this is one of those things that we look over as men. We look over having a woman having a sweet disposition. I'm talking about she's just generally nice, man. She's just a nice girl. What's wrong with a what's wrong with a woman being a nice girl, man? You understand? We just want a nice girl, man. A woman who she don't get riled up. She don't do all that rah rah. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got to worry about her being out in the street fighting nobody, or cussing nobody out, or making a scene nowhere. When she out with you, she lets you handle the protection. She lets you handle the defending. She's not gonna come out of her bag. A sweet disposition is a representation of femininity. You know, any woman who doesn't have a sweet disposition is just not a nice girl, man. She's not a feminine woman. Femininity is a must. Feminine energy is sweet energy. So that's one of the major things, man. The moment I realize a woman doesn't have that sweet disposition, bro, it's a wrap. We can't talk. We can't do nothing. It's a wrap. Beautiful smile, always smiling. You know what I'm saying? Knows how to let go and let God, man. Just knows how to, she ain't stressing about nothing. Because let me tell you something. A woman that knows how to handle stress is not going to stress you out. Because she's not going to be stressed. You need a woman who knows how to deal with stress by not being stressed. The only way to deal with stress is to not be stressed. You can't deal with stress. Once you're stressed out, you stressed out. You're going to reap the detriment of being stressed out once stress hits you. And that's the reality of it. So she got to have a sweet disposition. That's what 100% represents femininity. Another thing. She has to have an absolute concern for her health and wellness, an absolute concern for her health and wellness. Because I'm telling you, man, she mess around, bust out a hundred pound heavier on you, man. It, you, I mean, you just wasted whatever time you spent with her. You know, because the reality of the matter is this, man, a woman gaining a hundred pounds, she's not going to lose it. And if she does, she's going to lose it by, you know, by going to get like lap band surgery or something like that, man. She's not going to use She's not going to lose it the way that she needs to lose it in order to look good when she loses it. So. You know, if a woman is not doesn't have an absolute concern for health and wellness, man, then you got to keep in mind. And that means, man, she don't drink. She don't smoke. No type of substance abuse, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not dealing with a woman who drink liquor. I'm not dealing with a woman who smoke cigarettes or weed. I'm not dealing with a woman who does either of those. If she smokes or drinks, I ain't got nothing for her, man. She doesn't care about her health and wellness. And also for me, smoking is just not a feminine thing. Because because my thing is this. If a woman smokes and drinks, she parties, too. I never met a woman who smoked and drink, but didn't party. Smoking and drinking is a part of partying almost. You know what I'm saying? Smoking and drinking is, 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 is a very significant aspect of partying, man. If a woman has an absolute concern for her health and wellness when you meet her, then you're not going to have to coach her to keep her fit, to keep her healthy, to keep her well, to keep her. You're not going to have to coach her. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to have to coach a woman in that type of thing right there. You know what I'm saying? I don't want her to. And, for, and some men OK with that. Some dudes don't mind that. You know what I'm saying? There's some fit guys who don't mind if their woman ain't fit, if she not what you call. There's some guys who who, you know, they, they eat clean. They don't care if they want to eat anything. Man, there's some guys who don't eat pork. And they don't care if they want to eat. It. Mike Tyson is a vegan and his old lady eat whatever meat she want to eat. For me, that's not that for me. That's a compatibility issue. You know what I'm saying? Not me being compatible with her, her being compatible with my life. Sorry. Cause I'm telling you, they hit that middle age joint, man. They get that middle age spread, man. Sometimes the middle age spread don't stop, man, for about three, four years. Some women get that middle age spread. She 125, gain 10 pounds. She 135, thick as all outdoors, man. I'm talking about between 28 and between 25 and 30, 
Man, she thinking that all I do, but she got to maintain that because at 40, she going to get another spread. Well, the first one is that young spread, that that, that grown woman spread. Then she's going to get that middle age spread. If she don't take care of herself, man, then it's going to spread all in the wrong place. So she has to be a woman who's about her health and wellness, man. Absolutely. And this is the thing, man. A lot of men, if you're not just dedicated to fitness, dedicated to health, dedicated to that, man, you give it a one man who has no concern for health and wellness, man, you're going to get fat too. I promise you that. Show me a man who in shape. But he's just in shape because he's active and he he don't really put forth no effort to it. He ain't really all about that, man. He just he's active and he lives an active life. Man, he give it to one man, don't care about the health and well, the man, that boy gonna be big as a house, man. That boy gonna swell up. I'm telling you. We all know it. <laughs> we all know he's gonna swell up. Now, another thing, man, she's gotta have a career that she's in for the joy it brings. If she's in a career that she hates, but she make a lot of money. Man, you ain't got yourself now. That woman going to be looking for pleasure. She's going to be looking for something to please her, something to relax her, something to make her feel good, something to give her some 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 sensation. And that's the type of one man that get out there, man, and be out there all running in the streets on you, man. If a woman goes to work and she, it don't matter how much money she make, if it is stressing her the hell out, man, and she every day she'd be wishing she had chosen something else, man, that woman is a ball of stress, man. You don't want no stress ball. If you want a stress ball, man, got to be a real stress ball that you roll in your hand, man. You know what I'm saying? You want an actual stress ball that relieves stress. You don't want a ball of stress. A stress ball and a ball of stress are two different things. You know what I'm saying? So you have to have a woman, man, who's in her career for the joy. Like she has got to wake up every day, man, happy to go do what she does. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I wake up every day, man, happy as hell, man, to, to, to deliver y'all some content, man. I wake up on Saturday morning, man. Now the content on Saturday on Patreon, it come out at noon. Cause I was doing it before and dropping it at eight o'clock, man, man, I'd be wanting to get up on Saturday morning, man, and upload it to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like I get up Saturday and upload it to y'all. The content, you know, the content already be recorded and all that, man. But cause you know, I ain't going to do that on the, on the Sabbath, but man, I come and shoot that content up, man. I like to shoot it up and just watch y'all come in and comment, man, throughout the day. So me, I wake up, man overjoyed man you know what i'm saying when i have com morning consultations man i love waking up first thing in the morning to a consultation monday wednesday friday man i i pop up i love waking up man training my clients online man i love it so i enjoy this man and a woman has to do the same thing can you imagine you get up every day man you overjoyed with what you do man and you got to deal with a woman complaining all the time about her job and her workers and and if she if she if she a business owner she got to complain about her employees if she go to work she complain about her boss she doing all this complaining about all these different things man and you, and you trying to have peace of mind nah bro it ain't gonna work it ain't gonna work bro it is not going to work man she has to find joy in what she does Cause let me tell you what happens if she has a career she she's in for the joy. When you come into her life, you're going to replace that joy. She's going to be so overwhelmed by the joy of having an alpha male in her life, man. If she's the kind of woman that deserves an alpha male, an alpha male man going to put on, I mean, she's going to be gone. You know what I'm saying? Her head is going to be gone. She's going to be on cloud nine. She's going to be living in a fairy tale, bro. She's going to be living that fairy tale dream that her and her girls dreamed about growing up. And even as they've been adults that they fantasize about, she going to live that, man. And then you know what happens when you need her to transition into your business? She's going to do it because like Anita Baker said, you bring her joy. When, when we get through with this, man, I want everybody, man, to leave here. Go look up Anita Baker song. You bring me joy. I want you to listen to the whole song. And I want you to understand that when you're alpha male and you find the right woman, the woman who fits into your life. This is how she feels. She feels just like that song, man. She's going to be ecstatic. And so she'll transition from that career that she finds joy in to the new career that you've got for her. And you know what her new career with you is? Helping her man. Helping her man build his, his legacy. Helping her man build his kingdom. Helping her man build his empire. She's going to be happy to do it. All women are happy to do it as long as they get the payoff at the end. That was an old movie, Waiting to Exhale. This chick gave up everything she had, man, to to do to to, to support her husband. They, they blew their dude up to a million. Now he left her for a white woman, but she wasn't angry about it until he left her for a white woman. She was cool with doing it. Then when she had that time to think about she didn't get the payoff at the end, that's when she felt it. As long as a woman get the payoff at the end, man, she'll dedicate her life to an alpha male, man. So see what we talking tonight, man, we talking alpha male talk. We ain't talking no talk about 
you know, nothing else. We talking real alpha male talk, but you had to be particular and meticulous about the woman that you allow into your space, man. You have to.